Photography was his first passion, and on a dare, he found his second. Gabriola's Michael Van started making bows in 1975 and is known around the world, as well as locally, for his work. I studied with uh, all sorts of teachers here in Nanaimo, and uh, so when we had to get our bows rehaired, when, when I didn't own one of his bows, we always brought it to Michael because it was uh, convenient, close, and he does, does good work. So uh, when it came time to, to try bows or to buy bows, I came here to try uh, one of Michael's bows and I uh, fell in love with, with one of them. And uh, my first professional bow was a Michael Van bow. To make a bow, um, first of all, you have to uh, analyze the wood that you're, that you're using. We send ultrasound waves through the wood and then we analyze it with ultrasound. Expensive equipment, but well worth it. And then we scrape the surfaces to see if there are any anomalies in it, like knots and what have you. And if, if it's a clear piece of wood, then we, we carry on with it. Everything's done by hand. And that's why I say the only thing I would really need is candlelight, if, I, if, you know, if nothing else. We're a little more modern and I've got you know, side light and, and top light. And light's very critical in, in making uh, bows, obviously. The shadows that the light throws cause us to determine the actual shape of the bow. We're, we deal in shadows more than, than the light itself. This is Pernambuco, a dense Brazilian wood that doesn't rot. And turning this into this takes Michael 60 hours. That's six zero. I, I think my passion for making bows is that I'm always intrigued as to what comes out at the end. And so the scraping of the stick is kind of boring and it's mindless. I listen to, you know, to uh, pop music and classicals and what have you while I'm doing it and all of a sudden I sort of wake up and say, oh, it's at that point now where I need to concentrate on it, on finessing it. And so at that point, uh, it's, it's kind of exciting. Every time you pick up a bow, it has a, a different feel and it has a, a, a different balance, a different playing style. And, and uh, as musicians, we want to sort of have a, a bow that uh, can play in all the different styles. And, and for me, uh, it's an aesthetic thing too. So uh, Michael's uh, bows are also very uh, beautiful in terms of the, the uh, materials that he puts in them. So uh, all those things come together and, and that makes that bow uh, completely unique and uh, why I love it so much. The pride he takes with each handmade bow gives it a unique quality, and it's why he's considered one of the world's famous bow makers. I've had the good fortune of having some very famous people uh, acquire my bows, including uh, Pinka Zuckerman. We've, uh, in 10 years ago, we had a royal commission. I had to make bows for the Queen of, Queen of Denmark, and so that was an, an exciting time. Especially when you hear recordings that you know are made with your bow, you say, yeah, I'm part of that, you know, recording. Having a maker so close that has all these, uh, a master maker so close to have uh, all these bows at your uh, disposal to, is, is a really uh, a great um, thing for, for a local player. Michael used to teach at Victoria's Conservatory of Music. The courses were six weeks in length, but he says to truly learn the art of bow making, it takes at least eight months. For Shaw TV from Gabriola Island, I'm Melissa Hall.